guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I'm quite close today, aren't I? Hey! Um, it's because I wanted to do a talk through makeup look for this makeup look, obviously. Um, it's kind of like a wedding or special occasion or if you're going to a wedding and you need your makeup to last all day. You could wear this as a bride, like I probably would maybe wear something like this. I don't know, actually. It's not really me, this is quite pretty. I don't really do that kind of makeup usually. And I've got a glossy lip, which I don't like a glossy lip, I like a matte lip. But wedding makeup, special occasion makeup, to me screams glossy lip and pretty makeup. So, wow, this is the longest intro like ever. Sorry about that. So anyway, this is what it is. I don't know what the title is. It's probably gonna be something like wedding, bridal, party makeup. Cause it could be like for the bridesmaid. Like if you're a bridesmaid, you could totally wear this look. I think. Um, anyway, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so all I have done, so I'm going to try and do this as a talk through, by the way, but it is absolutely pouring down. So hopefully, like, you can hear me and that's not too loud. I basically have like a skylight where in my filming room, and so obviously it's like raining on a window right above my head, and it's probably like really raining. So hopefully it's okay. So all I've done so far is my face. I've got nothing on apart from moisturizer, which I use the Bioderma Hydro Hydro Bio Serum. So it is a serum and it is really hydrating. I recommend if it's if you're doing this for your wedding day, I recommend using your regular moisturizer that you would usually use. I don't recommend really trying anything new for your wedding day because you never know what's gonna happen. Like it could react and that'd be really bad. But it is super important that your face is really hydrated before you do such a long wearing and long lasting makeup look. It's really, really important. So I put that on about five minutes ago. So it just really sinks into your face before you put anything else on. I'm now gonna put on my eye cream, which I use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream which is just my current favourite. And again, I recommend using whichever eye cream you usually use. And again, this is also really important. When you're putting, because we're going to put on quite a lot of concealer, because I really want it to be like a really flawless, glowy, fresh looking face. And for me, not for everyone, but for me, I have to use quite a lot of concealer to achieve that. Not particularly because I'm like super dark. I don't really know what it is. It's just like, I find it really hard to get it like, but putting on high, high cream, putting on some high cream, putting on eye cream first means I can get away with putting that much concealer on. Otherwise it starts to look really cakey and dry. So I just pop that under my eye and just tap it around. Try not to rub your eye area. Then I just tap it in. I feel like I haven't done a talk through makeup look for like ever, like so long. I have a feeling this one's gonna be like super chatty and you're going to be like oh my god shut up and tell me what you're doing anyway okay so just tap that under your eye and then i'm going to apply primer primer is so important like i can't even tell you how important it is so primer this is my favorite one currently which is the makeup forever one and this is number two it says step one on it which is really confusing but they're basically all say step one but they have different numbers so this is step one in number two which is the smoothing one and then again, I just tap that in this area. Again with the tapping motion. And then again with this, as with the moisturizer, you wanna really just leave this to sit on your face for a minute. Don't go straight in with foundation. If you go straight in with the foundation, you're kind of like, what's the point of putting this on? So you're basically just gonna mix the products together. So you wanna just let that sit in your face for a quick minute. I'm going to mix two together. To be honest, I would just use my Makeup Forever HD foundation because I know this photographs amazingly, it has no SPF and it just looks really good in photos, but it's too light for me right now. So I'm going to mix it with another one which I know photographs well, which is the NARS Sheer Glow, which is too dark for me, and orange, just ridiculous colour. So if I mix them together, I'm thinking I'm going to get the perfect colour. So let's try. So to mix them together, all I'm literally going to do is pop one pump of that and then annoyingly this hasn't got a pump so I'm just gonna do like a dab of that I didn't shake it I didn't shake it most foundations you have to shake first because they kind of get residue on the bottom and then they kind of rubbish okay 
So there you can see the two colours next to each other. And then I'm going to use a sort of flat foundation brush. This is the Sigma foundation brush, the F60. And I'm just going to first of all just kind of mix them together a bit on my hand. And then use the brush. I'll usually use my finger, but I've been liking using the brush recently because I don't like getting it on my hands. And then I'm just going to use the brush to paint it on. Like that. And then I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to blend this in with tapping motions. You're really bouncing it off your face. Can you see? It's like bounce, bounce, bounce. This is going to give you more like an airbrush look, which is perfect. <laughs> which is perfect for like wedding day photography and any special occasion, really. My God, it's like pouring down. Seriously, I hope you can hear me. So I'm going to leave the face and do the eyes because I want to just let that foundation really sit into the skin because I feel like if you go straight in with your concealer and contour again it kind of mixes in and it doesn't it's not as effective so I'm going to move on to the eyes and in fact we will do the eyebrows first so I am using my this is by Sleek and it's just with their brow pencil in the colour medium Okay, so eyebrows done. Then to prime the eyelid, which again is really important, so you don't really get any creasing during the day, you really want it to last. The trick with kind of making your makeup last, I feel, is layering. So you, it's like, it looks like so much makeup, but when it's done, it doesn't look like a lot of makeup. But layering is really gonna ensure it's like, stay there like proper, like a long time. <laughs> a long time. Um, so I'm gonna use MAC Paint Pot in Soft Okra to prime my lids. So just applying that with my finger and you want to take this all the way up to the eyebrow. I've got like two really annoying hairs on my eyebrows that I've just got to go. Do you ever get that? Like there's none there that all of a sudden just like two just like appear like they literally just gone. Okay so once you've applied your base you want to go over it with just like a pretty white colour kind of just to set the base because if you start trying to apply like eyeshadow now it's going to be super hard to blend it's going to stick to the base so i'm just going to go over it with just this white shimmery color which is shroom i think let me just check uh yeah shroom by mac just like a really nice white shimmery color so i'm just literally going to apply that all over where i've just gone So then on a large fluffy brush, this is the Sigma E40. I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna start using this just to put a little bit of definition into the crease. But because it's quite light, it's gonna be very subtle. I've got black all over my hands. Where has that come from? So just literally, just like kind of just above the crease here. And as you can see, I'm holding it quite far back. So you do have a really light hand with this and then just a little circular and windscreen wiper motions just buffing it in like that so it's just creating the start of a shadow a mac 217 and i'm going to take the shade coco bear which is this one here also by makeup geek and apply this to the same kind of area but a little bit more into the crease and the outer corner again with a light hand and i'm not going to bring it down to here i'm just going to kind of join it almost to the eyebrow so can you see how little product i'm applying because i really think it's just best to just build it up gradually rather than like going straight in with a big dollop of dark colour. Not that this is that dark but it's quite dark. And as you can see because we've obviously put that other colour in first it kind of blends without doing too much. So just bring it into this little corner here and then you can go back in with your brush and just make sure that's blended. 
Okay, and then for all over the lid, I'm gonna use the MAC pigment in tan. Such a beautiful color. Like, it is just, to me, it just screams wedding. I don't really use it because it's not really that sort of my color, but it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take that on, this is an Urban Decay brush, I think, that came, yeah, it's just an Urban Decay shadow brush that came in one of the palettes. But I just like it because it's synthetic and it's a bit easier to pack on the colour with. This is why we've not done the rest of the face as well, because you might get some fallout with this. Does that not just scream at wedding makeup to you? Just to me, this is just, they might as well have called it wedding pigment? Marriage pigment? So you can see I'm taking it just under this crease bit here. Okay, and then on like this, so not in the centre, but just on this second half of the eye, I'm gonna put some of this shadow here, which is also by Makeup Geek. It's called Goddess, and it's this amazing, like bronzy, a little bit coppery, warm, shimmery colour. I'm gonna use the same brush I used for the tan pigment, just the other side, and I'm just gonna pack that on just this bit here. It's just gonna give you a little bit more warmth but still keeping it nice and shimmery. So you can see I'm just leaving that very centre bit there and just going like kind of around that very centre of the eye. Okay, then on like a kind of pencil brush and the colour Embark by MAC, which is this really quite dark, deep brown. And I'm going to put this literally on the very V of the eye, just to deepen up the outer edge, which just to make your eyes pop a bit more. So just here. And then just take the 217 just to blend that a little bit. It should pretty much blend in, so we've gone gradually to the darker colour. So just like that, just gives it a bit more definition on the outer corner than this one. Okay, and then I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This is Teddy by MAC. I really don't want to use much black in this at all. So I'm going to use this to line my lash line a tiny bit, but it's going to be kind of a bit smudgy. That's why I'm using a curl and not like a liner. And you just want to work this just more on this outer part here. Leave the eyes for a minute and just go back to the face. So I am going to work on the lower lash line, I am going to take on that same brush we used for the, the pigments, I'm going to take the more coppery pigment and run this on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply a nude liner in the waterline, this is um, Jordana Almond. Almond? I'm just going to use a brush to hold my eye down because I don't want to ruin my concealer. And then on a flat definer brush, I'm going to take some of Cocoa Bear and just run that really, really close to the lash line. And then I'm going to go in the same brush and a tiny bit of Embark, which is the darker one we used. And I'm literally just going to put this on the very outer part of the eye, so just right here. Okay, you, I am not going to put lashes on, shock horror, purely because I have some extensions on at the moment. So I think, personally, if you've got a special event, like a wedding or something like that, I think having extensions put on is great because you don't have to worry about the eyelash coming off, especially if you're not used to wearing eyelashes. 
they are great. You can have them look really, really natural. So that is what I'm going to do today. If I didn't have them on, then I would wear lashes, but they'd be like super, super natural ones because you don't want to like rock up with some dramatic lashes. So I'm just going to brush them through. And I am going to apply some mascara, which you shouldn't really do, but because they're like a little bit old, now I have to. Okay, so once you've done that, then for the lips, I'm going to use this lip liner by Giordana, which is in Tawny. Just gets like a really natural colour. It's like pretty much like my own lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use MAC Kind of Sexy, just because it's more of like a peachy colour, which I think is really pretty. And then just to add a little bit of gloss, I'm going to use some buttercream lip gloss over the top. And then that is your finished makeup look. I really hope you like this look, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to click the subscribe button as well. And any requests you have, if there's anything you want me to do, then leave your comments down below. I've got an eyelash keeps poking me. Um, but I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.